Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today this is your review of Chelsea's 2-1 win over Hull City in the FA Cup an unconvincing 2-1 win we struggled for that when we shouldn't have struggled Hull really didn't pose a lot of threats during the game Caballero was mostly a spectator for most of the, most of the 90 Chelsea had all the possession but it's this is like 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 Ampo said in his interview after the game he said he hates becoming a broken record and repeating himself I'm starting to get annoyed about me repeating ourselves that we uh, can't finish games off when we have chances we could have won the game 3-0 three, three or 4-0 in that regard to the game and for us we shouldn't have let all City back into the game it was just an unfortunate thing but to blame for that is Kovacic because why would you why would you turn on a free kick why would you turn and break up the wall because it could hit a part of your body and and fox the keeper and unfortunately it did but apart from that the first half we were quite I think we were quite good we were playing balls around the park for the first six minutes we were just trying to get a rhythm into the game and everything else for Chelsea and it and then the ball got crossed to who I can't remember who it was I think it was Aspie who got the ball on the left or Pedro or whatever or I don't think who it was it might be Pedro or William or one or the other so no Aspie quite did the cross in tried to pass it to Pedro or William and he crossed it in Mount had an original shot that was blocked and then that's why he had his pop had his shot and it, um, unlucky for us it deflected and gone and gone in and 100 times out of 10 for Chelsea stuff like that it wouldn't be going in the back of the net so it was like a little bit of good fortune for us for once but after that we seemed to to press and press a lot more we had about two one-on-ones both with Mount one with Mount that should have been buried and then one with Bartley that also should have been buried but give George Long the whole city keeper credit he had a good game he kept all in this all could have been out of sight in that first half could have been game over before half time but then just then then, then we went into the lead we went into half time with a 1-0 lead and I thought to myself how is it only 1-0 we could have scored another two goals in that game and it doesn't surprise me if we don't go and score another and then we go into the second half and we I don't know what Lampard said, but Hull came out firing in all cylinders and Chelsea couldn't cope with it. And yet, not a surprise, because some, in some games this season we played good one half and then had a rubbish other half. Depends which way we put it. It could be rubbish first half, rubbish second half, rubbish second half. It could be rubbish first half, rubbish second half, rubbish second half of a good first half sort of thing if you understand but from me from my point of view um we just second half we we were completely different to the first they they couldn't get their passes together the whole were pressing us and we couldn't cope with it and and stuff like that there was a couple of glimpses of good plays that we did because for the goal by tomorrow that was a good ball it was a good good Ball, ball in, and a good header by Tamori, and that's good to see him back on the team sheet and the goal scoring trail for Chelsea, second goal for Chelsea. And the other thing I will say this the team, the team for Chelsea versus Hall was Willie Caballero and Goal, who I think had a really good game, didn't have a lot to do, he's, he's not at fault for the goal, for the whole City goal. Because when it deflects, keeper can't do anything about it. But apart from that, Willie Caballero had a good game. I would, against Leicester, play him to see how he coped in the Premier League. Give him a chance. Because actually, against Hall, he had not a bad game. 
And then we had Asprey Quetta on one side. We had Zuma Tamore Alonso. I was a bit surprised seeing Alonso playing. I'm happy. I was happy that Tamore and Zuma were playing because when they have played, our defence is like very solid at the back, and it was for quite a long period of the game. Then the midfield was an odd one with Kovacic playing in the Kante role. I thought that was another weird, weird one. Then we had Barkley on one side and Mount on the other. That was a weird one. Then we had William, Pedro and Batshuayi. That, uh, that was alright. Batshuayi, I can say, had a really good game. He was showing that he was capable of doing this, that, this, that. He was capable of doing what he does, if that is the right way of putting it. He, Batshuayi had a really good game. When there was a ball to try and win, he knew he couldn't win. He would race. He would literally use his speed to go and fetch the ball that went like a long way before him. And he knew he couldn't catch it, but his speed managed to get it to the point where he can. But the whole City goal, I would say, should have never happened in the first place. The free kick, McGuinness off hole, one of their strikers dived. And that was inevitable. And the referee even knew he did it because he laughed. So he knew he made a mistake. But, yeah, there wasn't any VR that could overturn it, so we had to live with it. And unfortunately, Kovacic, why did you have to move your body to one side? And that deflection brought him all back into the game, and I thought to myself, don't happen again, and we just crumble after this. But, the main thing is, we're into the next round of the FA Cup, we're into the, into the next round, that's the main thing. The only other thing I'm going to put on this, that... We should have finished Hull off, we should have been more clinical, we should have scored more, but we were better. We've had more, we had about 16 attempts all game, and half of them were on target. So that's positivity. Now we go on to the three biggest games of the season. We have a Leicester on Saturday, then we have a two week and one day break before we play Manchester United, then Tottenham, then Bayern Munich coming away. And if we can get for that period unscathed, I will be a happy man. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this match preview to Chelsea's 2-1 win in the FA Cup fifth round versus... It's the fourth round. Yeah, fifth round versus Hull City. Like, subscribe, become part of the notification squad. Hit the thumbs up button. Become part of the notification squad. Hit the like button in the video. Hit the bell icon to become a part of the notification squad. Be notified every time I upload or do a live stream. And bye! Doink.